All right, another installment of Project YFZ 450 2006 Special Edition in Cursive Letters. Uh, just going to review the throttle position sensor on this. So all the CARB YFZs have the throttle position sensor up here. You can kind of see it's a little dark, but you can see there's a T25 torque screw right there. That's the throttle position sensor. The wires run along up pretty much right along the valve cover, the, the gray plug right there, female side, male side. I built this handy dandy little jumper. It allows me to do an easy check without uh, disturbing the wires. The really only other option is to back probe these. I don't like doing that because you have to have the right kind of needle back probe tools to get in there and, and do a non-invasive approach. This is just kind of a plug and play. These butt connectors here represent your output voltage to the CDI box. These are here are your reference voltage from the CDI box, five volt sensor. Never really gonna get five volts, I don't think. Uh, maybe if it's running, it's charging, but typically if it's off like it is now, you're gonna get a, you know around four, eight, four, nine volts on a fully charged battery. Um, as far as your voltage here, this is between your yellow and your black wire. Your reference is between your black and your blue. So the yellow and black is the one you're going to want to set. And on this particular model, just a minute ago, I checked. I had 4.8 volts here and here, yellow or blue and black. And yellow and black, I had 0.637 volts. Uh, Yamaha's spec is to get between 0.58 volts DC and 0.78 volts DC. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to loosen up your T25 Torx screw. I happen to have one here. It's a lot easier to see. That's your T25 Torx. That's your TPS sensor. And the slotted, the body of the sensor is, is slotted. So what you do is you loosen that and you actually rotate the sensor itself until you achieve your 0.58 to 0.78. Uh, quick note though, you're going to want to have your idle speed set. Your idle is your, your wheel on the back side here next to your TPS. Uh, that's going to have to be set before you do this because that's going to determine the closed position of the throttle and the closed position of your TPS voltage. So make sure you have that done first. So, uh, pretty simple, not a whole lot to it, but like I said, you're gonna wanna back probe these. You're gonna have to reach in there really carefully with some needle back probe tools. Uh, you can source those if you don't already have them. Uh, you're not gonna wanna, um, you know, actually stab the wires to get the voltage. It's not good, especially in a machine like this that's exposed to a lot of mud and water. Uh, there will get eventually some corrosion buildup in there. Uh, the other option is pretty simple, is to actually jumper the TPS out with one of these plugs, female end, plugs into the harness here, and then it basically bypasses your TPS. And what that does is this will read to the CDI box that the throttle is wide open, and it switches to the more aggressive timing curve, uh, a little bit more bottom end grunt, uh, plus the deletion of the sensor. So that's another option, shameless plug. I do sell them on eBay, TPS Jumper YFC 450. Uh, anyways, if you found this informative, uh, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks and stay tuned.